This is like the sixth time I'm trying to film this because it's been a day, a mood. The weather is terrible, so I'm filming somewhere else. Maybe because the lighting is better. Also because my dog is here, my baby is here. And all of them seem to need a ton of attention. Nonetheless, I really wanted to try out this palette. It's actually a palette that I didn't want to pick up at all. The first time I saw it, I was kind of like, mm, yeah, no, I don't need to pick up this palette. And then I realized after seeing some reviews of it, I was like, okay, I'm sorry, but this palette is gorgeous. I mean, a dual chrome by Charlotte Tilbury. <gasps> I don't think that's ever been done before. I want it. Anyway, let's just get into the tutorial really fast. So I'm reviewing the new luxury palette of pearls, Celestial Pearl. It retails for 55 euros, but I think it retails in America for 56 dollars. The description says, light up your eyes with my new pearlescent eyeshadow palette, including pearly pink, gold, and rose gold. Layer the shades to create a multi-dimensional eyeshadow look that lights up your eyes with pearlescent iridescent makeup magic. This is the outside packaging, which is new for Charlotte Tilbury. Actually, the fact that the sun is coming through, it's kind of like making this look so much nicer than it is. And then the outside packaging of the actual component. I mean, are you guys seeing this? How beautiful is that? Then if you open up the component, so you got that, this is kind of like a rose gold. And then you have that dual chrome shade, gold shade, and of course the the one sort of transition shade. Oh, hello sun. And I can't tell you how beautiful that second shade is. So like any palette of Charlotte Tilbury, um, she makes it really easy for you to actually do these shades. There's a prime shade, an enhanced shade, a smoke shade, and a pop shade. And she suggests to use it as is. The prime shade, the enhanced shade, the smoke shade, and the pop. So the pop shade, you kind of have to just include at the end to really get the shine going. But I'm most interested in that second shade, that's the enhanced shade. It kind of is a dual chrome between gold and pink and I wanted to show you the palette first because the moment you start swatching it I mean look at that the moment you start swatching it that little embossing will go away see now it's like pink but in other lighting it's gold oh, it's so beautiful this is the product swatched first you see the pop shade then hand shade the smoke shade and the pop now I hope that the swatches do this product justice because uh, sometimes the prime and the enhanced shade, they look very much alike, but they are not. So um, maybe we should do it Charlotte Tilbury way and go with the prime shade first. I have really oily lids and usually I prime my lids and this time I primed my lids only with concealer. Now I'm going to take the shade only until halfway of my lid. The nice thing about Charlotte Tilbury shades is you can go in with your finger and it applies well. So if you have clean fingers, you should always have clean fingers. Just use your finger, honestly. You get the best color payoff. So now I'm going to go in that little hand shade over here. It applies gold, but damn, this is a nice color. I'm just going to plop this all over the lid, I don't even care. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and really go ham in this shade. Just take it anywhere. I don't think the camera does this justice. I'm gonna go in with my finger again, seeing if I can build up these shades. One of the reasons I fell in love with Charlotte Tilbury and her eyeshadows is because Charlotte Tilbury taught me that Putting glitter or shimmer in the crease actually is okay. You're allowed to do that. It used to be a thing that you only put matte shades in the crease, but Charlotte Tilbury was like, no, it, you can actually look really good even with mature lids. And I have hooded lids, so they act a little mature. If you understand what I, I mean by that, because they're just so floppy. Um, but still make it look beautiful. And I don't think the camera does this justice, but. I mean, look at the shift from gold to pink. It is, oh, I could just 
I could stare at this all day. Now let's go in with the smoke shade, which is the darkest shade, to try to deepen out the crease. Now I'm really packing this on. This is not a deep shade, but I don't think it's supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be a very natural, wearable eye, even though it's the holiday palette. I mean, do you guys see that? I can't even I can't even explain to you how beautiful the shift is. And then use the pop shade, put your finger right in it, and then flop it on right in the center. Beautiful. Now let me just add some liner. I might go in with the dual liner copper charge just because it's such a soft look or I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury dual liner for uh, the super nudes dual liner. Let me try copper charge first and if it doesn't work out I'm gonna go in with the super charge liner or super nudes liner. And just to add a little bit of flair, I put in the prime shade on in the inner corner to see if I can really build that up and look how beautiful. So this is the final subdued holiday look. I don't know if you can tell, but there is some fallout here on the side. So, um, my first thing I'm gonna say is make sure you do your eyes before you do your base. The reality of this palette is this. There's only one look you can do with this palette, which is this look. Uh, you can maybe add a darker eyeliner or a brighter eyeliner. You could do a darker lip. I'm currently doing Iconic Nude together with uh, the Kissing Formula in the shade Stone Rose. But this is the look that you're gonna get. Uh, do I think it's worth it? <laughs> To be honest, hell yeah. This is my type of palette. It's my type of jam. I I know this is the holiday palette and maybe people were expecting a little bit more. These shades are more for me. I know that there's another one coming that those aren't really my shades. Then again, I didn't think I was gonna pick this one up. So, you know, maybe you'll see that on my channel being reviewed as well. The colors are subtle, everyday colors. You don't have to wear this for only the holidays. And the shift is beautiful. I'm getting that pink, that gold, but wearable, you know, not crazy. And we're not talking Pat McGrath crazy shades. We're talking Charlotte Tilbury, rosy and gold tones. Now you can make it festive if you want. You can try to add a bold lip. Let me see if I have a bold lip here. I'm using the Victoria Beckham. The Victoria Beckham Posh Lipstick in the shade Pop, which is this bright red. Okay, well don't really look at my uh, execution of the lipstick. Just look at the overall look. I mean, that is a festive look, right? Again, don't mind the baby, it's just waking up, so I'm gonna wrap up this video really fast, but this is the final look I used for this look. I also used the Nude Gasm palette. Um, I did a review of my first impression of this um, a few videos ago. I only have about 10 videos on my channel. So if you want to check that one out and send me some love, please do. It's probably one of my most watched videos. And for someone that only has 10 videos on her channel, I am very proud that that's one of my most watched videos. Um, anyway, I don't think I have anything else to add or say. 
uh, this should be a small video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Charlotte Tilbury. I'm also looking into clean beauty, so I am looking into more Victoria Beckham beauty. And I'm also going to do a full face with the new iPods of the Westman and Tilly line. I'm trying to incorporate almost every product that they have. Uh, only the ones that I really adore, but um, it's going to be a full face. Um, like if you like this video and comment if you just want to chat. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.